Hello there, I just wanted to post a very quick video, hopefully. Um, this evening I learnt of the very sad death of Mr Peter Roakley, a guy named, uh, also known as Geriatric1927, or even the Internet Grandad. For those of you who know me and are watching this and who have no idea about the sort of videos that I've made on YouTube, you will probably have no idea who Mr Peter Oakley is, unless you have a pretty good memory and can cast your minds back to about August of 2006, when suddenly, I think he was a 78-year-old Grandad, suddenly appeared on BBC News and across the world and across the media as making his first ever video on YouTube and was uh, generally thought to be about the oldest person who had ever done it. There were a few others around but uh, Peter was one of the people that got me into actually making videos in the first place and he got a lot of people into making videos. He made it you know from a UK perspective as well but I know people right across the world. They watched someone like him, a man of sort of 78 years old, stumbling along in the nicest possible way, we've all done it, uh, on his video. I just rewatched his very first video, first try, which you can probably see on my computer behind me. And that cast me, takes me back to my own first video. But he, he made it seem that anybody could have a go at this. Anybody could sort of pick up a camera or set up the old webcam that they had on attached to their video their, to their computers at that time obviously they're all built in now and I'm making this on a phone you know that shows you how far we come in those intervening years um, but he made it look because I well I can never go at that whether I'm 78 years old whether I'm 40 odd years old whatever I was at the time or whether I'm a teenager it doesn't matter if I've got something I feel that I want to say or just want to have a go at this he made it acceptable and respectable and gave a lot of people the opportunity in some ways the validation if you want to have a go at doing it he was the man that inspired me um, and my very first video here on YouTube which was back in August of uh, 2006 as well was actually a response to one of Peter's videos the success that he had at the time in the media uh, notoriety or whatever the attention that he was getting got to him a bit and he very nearly stopped uh, my vi my first video because I enjoyed watching his was to try and persuade him to stay Thankfully he did, and I'm just looking back at some of his videos now, and uh, he's a man who lived a great life, and a man who lived, seemed to live the life the way that he wanted. He had a great love of the blues, he had a great love of motorbikes as well, and, and, he, and he sort of lived life his own way. Listen to go back to some of his videos and the decisions that he made throughout his life. A very inspirational man, a very humble man as well, and I actually was lucky enough to have some correspondence with him back in my early days of making a video. The very first video that I made, as I said, was a response to him he actually sent me a message at the time to thank me for what I'd said and for for actually making the video and that as well that just sort of shows you what he was like I know he got to know a lot of people he I think he was probably lucky in some ways making that it changed his life because it made him live his life probably completely differently to how he ever envisaged he would do with the music that he did later in life as well going around the world getting to know other youtubers and one of the great things about him was the fact that he accepted the younger people as well he was as inspirational to the the young teenagers or people in their 20s as he was to people of my age or older you know he was there for everybody and mixed with everybody had the young person's point of view in lots of ways you know maybe that sort of kept him young as well so if you don't know about him check out his videos it's a bit it's a bit sad that you've only found his videos now but he was a great man a great inspiration to a lot of people including me he certainly changed my life in some ways by helping to inspire me to start making videos here on YouTube one of those things that certainly changed my life in many ways and I just realized that I'm actually I've got a a t-shirt I've got on which is pure coincidence is of uh, San Francisco and the only reason that I went to San Francisco was a group of YouTubers all people that I met on YouTube who did a little road trip over there in America some from America and a couple of us from over here in the UK we all met in the inverted commas via the internet and we all met via YouTube and all of us probably owe a little bit of that to somebody like Mr Peter Oakley Mr Geriatric 1927 one of the great things is and I hope that his videos do stay up there obviously they're there now is that he has made a digital archive of his life he's told people about his life he's expressed it just watching a video now about his time in the forces and about radar he told you about 
all the art that he used to do and, and and the motorbikes and the blues and everything it's all there we can all learn from that as well is to put your own little digital archive on that so you can live after sadly you're no longer here so thank you very much peter thanks for the videos thanks for everything you've done for so many people across the world actually a sad day for a lot of us in the with youtube i suppose but at least we've got the videos to look back at anyway peter oakley geriatric 1927 may you rest in peace sir goodbye